Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road A1A public meeting. My name is Joseph Pontinelli, and I'm the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the department's proposed improvements along the corridor. We encourage your feedback, and there are many ways to provide input. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to the project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448795-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerian-group.com to report it. You may also call 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. By phone at 850-414-4742. Or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located in Flagler County on State Road A1A. The project begins at South 8th Street and ends at North 18th Street in the city of Flagler Beach. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 448795-1. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the roadway and to enhance the safety of the corridor. The recommended improvements we will review tonight were designed to improve safety throughout the corridor by providing safer conditions for all users. Proposed improvements include repaving the roadway, adding three new signalized pedestrian crossings, extending curbs to slow turning vehicles, and updating sidewalk and curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. The southern segment of this project along State Road A1A from South 8th Street to North 18th Street is a popular area 
With the public beaches and boardwalks on the east side of the road, and businesses, restaurants, and residential properties on the west side of the road. In addition to repaving the roadway, there are several safety improvements proposed for this segment of the corridor. To enhance pedestrian safety in this popular area, FDOT is proposing three mid-block crossings with pedestrian hybrid beacons, or PHBs. The proposed locations for these pedestrian activated crossings are South 8th Street, South 5th Street, and South 3rd Street. Curb extensions, also called bulb outs, are planned at South 4th Street and South 5th Street. These bulb outs will slow down turning vehicles, as well as improve pedestrian safety by decreasing the distance a pedestrian needs to cross. Proposed changes at the intersection of State Road A1A and Moody Boulevard, also known as State Road 100, include extending the concrete median separator on Moody Boulevard. Extending this separator will improve safety at this intersection by reducing the turning speeds of vehicles turning left onto A1A and increasing the likelihood that motorists will see pedestrians before entering the intersection. Other planned measures to enhance pedestrian safety include new and reconstructed sidewalk, curb ramps, curb and gutter, as well as shifting and restriping the crosswalks. The plans for the remainder of the project corridor are largely focused on repaving the roadway, as illustrated in this typical section or cross section of State Road A1A. FDOT also proposes enhancing safety for all users of this section of the Flagler Beach to Marineland Trail by adding crosswalks to the side streets and reconstructing the adjoining sidewalk and curbs when necessary. So, what exactly is a PHB? A PHB is an overhead traffic signal that is designed to provide increased visibility and protection for vulnerable road users at mid-block crossing locations. The following animated video offers a brief demonstration of how a PHB works. The Florida Department of Transportation is working to reduce pedestrian crashes by installing pedestrian hybrid beacons statewide. At the crosswalk, pedestrians press the button to activate the overhead beacon. It will flash yellow, turn solid yellow, then turn solid red, requiring drivers to stop so pedestrians may safely cross. When the beacon flashes red, drivers must stop but can proceed if the crosswalk is clear. When the beacon goes dark, traffic can proceed. FDOT, helping drivers and pedestrians share the road safely. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $1 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is currently funded for spring 2025 and has an estimated cost of $2.5 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by July 31, 2023, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or a question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448795-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at joseph.fontanelli at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation 719 South Woodland Boulevard, 
Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5234 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 448795-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by July 31, 2023. Have a good evening.